Hey everybody, it's Lisa from Shabby Road Studio. I'm coming to you today with one of my latest journals and it is a soft cover made with um, really sturdy uh, brown paper. It's not paper sack, but it um, it's a little bit sturdier than that. And I did some stenciling on the front and the back just for fun. And I just, I don't know, I was just messing around to be honest. And I just folded another piece that was skinnier and longer and put that in there. So it's just kind of a fun, uh, weird piece. <laughs> so inside um, I did this open, I don't know what to call that, kind of a hidden, um, hidden pocket or uh, something like that. Got some fun, papers here for journaling on. Um, got a little pocket here with some stuff in it. Just little fun things. And then it just goes right back in there. Shuts. So that's kind of cool. Little secret spot. Here's a little ticket. Oh. Fits in this little um, belly band. And let's see, up here, up here is this journaling card with a ruffle on both sides. It can fit in here, it kind of adds to the look and it matches the interior fabric on the cover that was sewn on. Here is a tag. And this is some tracing paper that I stenciled on. Some tissue and lace on this map page, and then a pocket over here with another tag and uh, a little envelope with some coffee dyed paper inside. Over here is another little belly band with one of those tags that I made in that one video with all my scraps and a piece of my jelly plate print on here. This is paper sack. Some more jelly plate print here. Dyed paper, here's just a fun little heart made with the same look as the cover. Little scrap of my jelly plate print here for a belly band. Over here, another jelly plate print on a piece of um, music paper. So yeah, here is some Poetry, which is kind of fun. It's more of the music page. And it's just a fun scrap I threw in. One that I was working on. Um, I like the way they turn out. It's just a fun look. Here is a piece from the farm journal I had. Cornflakes. It's an old really old magazine. It's kind of fun to look at all the pages and see all the old advertisements. Here is an envelope pocket with um, Tim Holtz paper doll tag inside there. As she peeks through the window. Some more coffee dyed. Here's the center. And here's another piece of that old music and the farm journal page. Toasties, cornflakes. The other half of that scrap paper. All kinds of staining, stamping that I was doing. I just, yeah, I thought it'd be fun to include it. It's another piece of music sheet with a um, die cut flower on there. This guy is um, an, one of the oversized playing cards. I just thought it'd be fun. I punched some holes in it. I put a little eyelet there. Tim Holtz paper doll a little boy he's standing up against this little book page so I just stuck him in there that poetry again some more of that jelly plate print more space to journal another piece of the um, die cut paper sack flower I put there and the other half of that small sheet of the paper sack yeah, so here is um, a tag with a little 
Tim Holtz paper doll. Space to journal there. Here is another handmade envelope with some more paper and that for journaling. And a map, a map page. Here I have a side tuck with a cool little journal card. A little ripped apart there with some lace and that just fits in nicely right there. On the back of this there's a pocket with another tag. Cute little piece there. And then again one of the bigger journaling cards with a double ruffle so that it sticks over um, this side and that side. Just looks really cute. So then that folds and then on the back we have another one of these fold out spots. Uh, I've got some stamping here, some more paper here, um, another pocket and with some stuff in it and some more stamping. So and then that just folds up and goes like that. That is the back. So it's not huge. Um, it's just uh, there's a lot of room to add your own personality and your own ideas, which is what I like to do. Um, this is about nine inches by six, and it's it's a soft back. It says journal on the front with some corrugated paper, cardboard, um, one signature, obviously. So I will have this posted pretty soon in my Etsy shop, and if you're interested, go check it out. I will see you in the next video. Bye.